Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matt Hickman with Play. Last week we covered the banded Good Morning. If you haven't seen it, check out the link below. But today we're gonna be covering the goblet squat. The reason the hip hinge was so important is because if you can't hip hinge correctly, you're not gonna be able to squat correctly. For the goblet squat today, we're gonna load it up with some weight, but we're also gonna be using a bench, all right? The reason for the bench is I want you to make sure that you have the correct form so when we take away the bench, you're gonna be set up for success. So for today, with these purposes, we have the bench. Find a bench to sit on or a box or something that you can get in a good position with or maybe even a stool, but you wanna be in a good position to where your thigh is about almost parallel to the ground. Typically parallel, your hip's gonna be slightly below the knee, okay? But this is a really, really good position for the, for the bench for her purposes, okay? So you just have to find something that, that is comfortable for you and matches your, your needs. So from here, she's got her feet in a slightly wider stance than shoulders, all right? Then next, she's gonna have her toes. You wanna point your toes out about 30 degrees. As you all can see, she's in a really good position here. Her knees are slightly forward. You don't have to have a vertical shin. Now, from here, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the weight. The goblet squat, typically, you wanna have a bell, pick up a bell, a kettlebell or a dumbbell, hold it close to your chest. You don't wanna let it get it far away from you. So when she stands up, she's gonna go ahead and stand up, like keeping the knees out the whole time, remembering our cues. Spreading the floor, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abs, like you wanna take a punch to the stomach. Now when she goes back down, the same keys, spreading the floor, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abs, keeping the knees out as well. So the same cues we wanted on the way up, we're gonna have on the way down, keeping the bell close. Make sure that you don't let the bell get away from you and make sure that you land on the bench or your box or your stool nice and soft. You don't wanna land, you don't wanna land hard. You wanna think about landing on a water balloon soft. You don't wanna you don't want to just bust everywhere, you wanna land on it really, really soft. That was the right way, let's go ahead and do it one more time. Slight lean forward, spreading the floor, keeping the knees out, same cues on the way down, land nice and soft. Now we're gonna do it the wrong way. So she's gonna lean way too far forward coming up. She's gonna lean way too far forward coming back. All right, you want to push your hips back slightly, but not too much. Remember, think about keeping that posture really, really nice. All right, now we're gonna finish it with the right one. Remembering the cues, spreading the floor, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abs, keeping the knees out. On the way down, same thing. Very nice. Everybody, that's the goblet squat to the bench. Practice it, get it right, and we'll see you next time.